Revelation 1, Amplified Bible 1. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ, his unveiling of the divine mysteries. God gave it to him to disclose and make known to his bond servants certain things which must shortly and speedily come to pass in their entirety and he sent and communicated it through his angel messenger to his bond servant john who has testified to and vouched for all that he saw in his visions the word of god and the testimony of jesus christ blessed happy to be invived is the man who reads aloud in the assemblies the word of this prophecy and blessed happy to be invived are, are those who hear it read and who keep themselves true to the things which are written in it heeding them and laying them to heart for the time for them to be fulfilled is near john to the seven assemblies churches that are in asia my grace god's unmerited favor be granted to you and spiritual peace the peace of christ's kingdom from him who is and who was and who was sorry and who is to come and from the seven spirits the sevenfold holy spirit before his throne and from jesus christ the faithful and trustworthy witness the firstborn of the dead first to be brought back to life and the prince ruler of the kings of the earth to him whoever loves us and has once for all loosed and freed us from our sins by his own blood and formed us into a kingdom a royal race priests to his god and father to him be the glory and the power and the majesty and the dominion throughout the ages and forever and ever amen so be it behold he is coming with the clouds and every eye will see him even those who pierced him and all the tribes of the earth shall gaze upon him and beat their breasts and mourn and lament over him even so must it be amen so be it i am the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end says the lord god he who is and who was and who is to come the almighty ruler of all i john your brother and companion sharer and participator with you in the tribulation and kingdom and patient endurance which are in jesus christ was on the isle called patmos banished on account of my witnessing to the word of god and the testimony the proof the evidence for jesus christ i was in the spirit wrapped in his power on the lord's day and i heard behind me a great voice like the calling of a war trumpet saying i am the alpha and the omega the first and the last write promptly 
what you'll see, your vision in a book and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia, to Ephesus and to Semira and to Pergamum and to Thyatria. Um, sorry, Thyatria, Thyatria, that's how you pronounce it I think. And to Sardis and to Philadelphia and to Laodicea. Then I turned to see whose was the voice that kept speaking to me. And on turning I saw seven golden lampstands. And in the midst of the lampstands one like a son of man clothed with a robe which reached to his feet and with a girdle of gold about his breast his head and his hair were white like white wool as white as snow and his eyes flashed like a flame of fire his feet glowed like burnished bright bronze as it is refined in a furnace and his voice was like the sound of many waters. In his right hand he held seven stars and from his mouth there came forth a sharp two-edged sword and his face was like the sun shining in full power at midday when I saw him I fell at his feet as if dead but he laid his right hand on me and said do not be afraid I am the first and the last and the ever living one I am living in the eternity of the eternities I died but see I am alive forevermore and I possess the keys of death and Hades the realm of the dead as to the hidden meaning the mystery of the seven stars which you saw on my right hand and the seven lampstands of gold the seven stars um, the seven stars are the seven angels messengers of the seven assemblies churches and the seven lampstands are the seven churches highlights of revelation chapter one one source and authority for the revelation verse one and two a in 22 chapters there are 55 direct references to Jesus two blessings pronounced on reader and hearer that's verse 3 number 3 John's cover letter to the seven churches of Asia verse 4 to 20 a many biblical truths covered in salutation verse 4 to 8 1 grace um, 2 Corinthians 1 2 Ephesians 1 2 2 oh sorry Ephesians 1 2 2 Peter 1 2 I'm not going to read these extra um, Bible things next to it I'll just read you know peace God and whatever number 2 peace number 3 God the everlasting Father for the Holy Spirit the seven spirits of God five Jesus the faithful witness king six God's love seven the blood atonement eight kings and priests the church nine Christ's return ten Alpha and Omega number four John's letter following the salutation a John's exile verse 9 spiritual life under most adverse circumstances verse 10 c jesus's writing assignment verse 11 
day John's vision, verse 12 to 20, a special instruction, past, present, future, verse 19, F, conclusion in chapter 22, 7. Verse 1, the complete title is the revelation of Jesus. The first to receive this revelation was Saint John the Divine, the beloved apostle. In verses 4 to 6, John's salutation from himself, um, God, Jesus and the Holy Ghost to the seven churches of Asia, tells them they are redeemed from their sins by Jesus' blood. Verse 7, Christ will return in the clouds with ten thousands of his saints. Every eye shall see him. This is the second coming, not Jesus' appearing. Daniel 7, 7 to 10 mentions it as well. Zechariah 14, 5, not going to bother reading the others. Verse 9, John admits his humanity and explains his circumstances. Verse 10, John has obtained right standing with God and is full of the Holy Ghost. Verses 12 to 20, Jesus as John saw him, clothed in a full length garment and golden girdle, Hair white like wool, eyes as a flame, feet like fine brass, brass um, denotes judgment, voice as many waters, held in his right hand seven stars, the angels of the seven churches. From out of his mouth came a sharp sword, the word of God, face shining in strength, in the midst of of seven golden candlesticks the seven different churches holds the keys of hell and death in verse 19 this clearly shows us the divisions of revelation revelation 1 covers the things which thou hast seen the vision of jesus revelation 2 and 3 covers the things which are the church age revelation 4 through 22 covers the things which shall be hereafter the time subsequent to the church age keep these th three divisions in perspective because chapter 1 supplies us with the keys to the entire book it is the most important chapter of revelation Although chapters 4 through 22 cover the future, they will also include both Old and New Testament events of the past. The Holy Spirit definitely ties the future to the past record of both God's plan and actions.